Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Please excuse my voice. I was talking till almost midnight last night, but I'm here and I'm ready to rock and roll in the morning. And my first thing is to try and source a part. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I got. So right here, I've got one of the Med Fusion 3500s. And a common problem that we're seeing is that the load cell, which is up here on the end of the um, syringe backstop plate, I guess you can call it. Well, this guy right here has a force sensor in it, which I initially thought it was gonna be a force sensor like this, because this is an actual force sensor. But come to find out, they have a load cell. You see this guy right here? This is a load cell like you would find in a scale in your house which I guess it serves the same purpose, but I'm just very curious. I, I guess it's got a single mounting point, which makes it easier. It does the same job. These load cells right here are made by a company called SMD, and the part number is 4365. The top one, I believe, is the serial number, the 02335. But anyway, um, so I was trying to find a source for these guys right here and the way that you normally do that is you load a data sheet. So you can see over here, I'm in a load, load cell data sheet and down here are your measurements. So the most important thing for one of these type of sensors is obviously it's range and then also the voltages. But you can see up here in the product description parallel beam style. So this one here is pretty close, but I measured it out and everything. And this appears to be a one-off part, kind of frustrating. Um, looks like part source has it for $65. Unfortunately, part source is infamous for the lag time between the time that you order it and the time it shows up. And I was really hoping it was going to be one of these kind of force gauges or, or force sensors because those ones you can usually source from third parties way easier. Guys, what a morning already. So these MedFusion 3500s, <clears throat> I haven't fixed very many of them and I have definitely never opened up the end cap. And um, there's a couple of interesting things that I see. See this board right here? These are optical interrupters. So they detect when something comes into home position, which might be the grabber fingers, I, I'm not really sure. I didn't take this one apart. In other words, I'd probably understand what was going on. But um, a common problem with these seems to be the voltage or the creep of that load cell. Um, it's just out of range. So then we got to change them out, which doesn't really completely make a lot of sense because those things are infamous for being very durable. So why are they going bad in MedFusion 3500s? I'm just curious. If you guys can help me out, if you guys know maybe why they're going bad or maybe a better source for parts, because I am seeing more and more of these MedFusion 3500s and uh, it's getting crazy trying to source the parts. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you guys have another source other than part source or USOC where we might be able to find these little force gauges. Be curious. Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching.